Woke up and the sun is out. What a wonderful thing. Uh, I am announcing, obviously, if you see by the title, today is my very first episode of the prep to the Olympia. Pretty, pretty excited. Uh, I'm not really doing anything different. My macros will be in the screen right now. As you see, 60 fat, 400 carb, 180 protein, 180 to 200 protein, and uh, I'm not changing my macros at all. The only thing I will be doing differently is I might add a few exercises here and there or extra sets and also some cardio as well. I want to keep my macros fairly high. Don't want to drop my metabolism. I just want to keep everything high because remember, it's, this is not a contest prep. This is just a little cleanup diet to where uh, I'm trimming off some fat and maybe, um, you know, just a little bit of water weight. And uh, obviously, you guys are going to think, how am I going to drop weight while not being in a caloric deficit? Well, the cardio and the weight training will put my body in a caloric deficit, which in turn will actually help me lose weight. So currently I'm cooking breakfast right now and uh, hash browns, eggs, and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you all the final product when I am finished. So got my stir fry here. We got eggs, mini portobello mushrooms, some uh, steak, and hash browns. And uh, what I'm also gonna do is throw a little bit of reduced sugar ketchup because there's only one gram of sugar per serving. I'm gonna do a taste test real quick. Get a little bit of egg, salt. Mm. Good guys, this is so good. So I'm gonna eat this up and then I'm gonna head to the gym in about a couple hours trying to convince them to open the gym to the public so that People who have cabin fever can go out, work out, because we're fine over here in Sugarland. So that's what's going on right now. Hi guys. <laughs> we are currently on the way to go get my car because it's been flooded. Uh, well, the neighbor has been flooded for the past few days. Driving through here is good to see that there's no rain, no, well, obviously no rain, but no, no standing water, uh, no floods, and everything is good. Pretty excited to drive my car again. I got my slave. I got my slave driving here. <laughs> so the past two days, all of these streets have been entirely underwater. Yeah, you can see. Oh wow, you could. So there's still like you know mud that came up from the soil and everything like that. Everything was flooded. We were driving through yesterday or the previous video you guys saw. We were driving through here and everything was past the driveway. My car is good. Yes. Alright guys, so I'm pulling up to the gym. Check this out. I'm gonna show you something. This is so funny. Look at all these cars. Look at all these look at all these cars. <laughs> All these people have cabin fever. Everyone wants to just work out. We got to the gym, and the gym's only open for uh, two hours, and everyone's just arriving early. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good workout. I got legs today. All right, guys. So sticking to the basics, I'm gonna explain this workout today. So I have found a new way of squatting. Um, well, let's kind of rewind just a little bit um, as to why I'm prepping. First of all, I'm not competing in the Olympia or the Junior Olympia. Like I said, guys, I'm not competing for a very, very long time. So that is out of the way. I am strictly going to be going to the Olympia for uh, six days in Las Vegas. And I will be with Built Apparel. So if you guys come out, then definitely holler back at your boy. Say hi to me and, and whatever the case may be. I'm really, really excited. Haven't been to an expo like a big one like this in a very long time. Um, so that is definitely new for me. Secondly, I have found a new way to squat um, without butt wink, which is, guys, it is remarkable for back. If you have back pain and you, know, you squat and you record yourself and you see that you have butt wink, it's terrible for your lower back, you know, you, you kind of have your tailbone wink and essentially what a tail, what a butt wink is, is just you rounding your back and having all that pressure on your spine, you know, the, the bar on your back, it's a, it's a lot of pressure on it. So I'm glad that I found a new way of squatting. That being said, 
Um, my feet, my heels are coming up a lot and uh, just one step at a time. I'm really trying to um, focus on not having um, my butt wink, which is great as you see here. And my torso is as one with my quads um, as opposed to me just breaking forward and just dropping my butt down and, and having my butt wink. So if you see these clips, like my butt is not winking at all, which is incredible, guys. I think this is the first time ever that I'm squatting with no butt wink, and I gotta say, no back pain uh, and no lower back soreness. It's this is incredible. And so the next thing I need to fix is obviously my heels. So 265 here, nothing too heavy, and I'm doing five sets of four, I think today. Um, so five sets of four with 265 felt pretty good, to be honest. Then I moved on to these box squats. This is actually has what has been helping me with my butt wink and just my form. Obviously, this is a below parallel box squat. And so, um, you know, I'm not rocking back when I'm sitting down. I'm just basically pausing, maintaining that position, and then straight back up with a half to one second pause. 185. Uh, I actually have been going pretty heavy with these um, up until this week. So, just 185 here to kind of just <clears throat> keep polishing my form and not forget um, how it's supposed to be without the butt wink. So it's just very, very reassuring and very great to, to see that my butt is not winking. On to the next exercise. As you see today, there's a lot of, there's going to be all free weight movements um, with an exception of two machine movements, nothing too special, um, nothing you know <clears throat> drastic. It's just all free weights and just tons of heavy weight. Next would be these goblet squats in case I moved into uh, 125 pounds. So as you see here, the bar or the dumbbell is straight up and I'm literally coming straight down with it. No butt wink as well. Um, and I felt all of my quads and glutes. So the main focus of this, this improvement season is to obviously bring up my hips because I literally have no hips. Uh, I come from a family with zero hips. So I'm trying to break that and uh, get bigger glutes, quads, hams, everything in the lower body. And so I uh, did, I believe, six sets of six to eight reps with 125 pounds and then you know i did 105 110 115 all the way up to that but six sets of 125 and i'm not using knee sleeves guys I, i'm kind of shying away from it, which is great um it's telling me that i'm really um obviously i'm in my surplus so i have more cushion more fat next movement would be these uh stiff legged deadlifts with 105s and i did i think six to ten reps with these and um i just did one more hamstring movement which is uh, seated leg curls and then the last movement was um, hip thrusters and trying to bring up the glutes a lot obviously but um, that is pretty much it guys I, I, I want to kind of uh, show you guys that I'm going to be prepping for this Olympia I have like two to two and a half weeks so you guys let me know what you want to see um, in the next coming videos if you guys want me to cover topics in, in terms of like nutrition and stuff I definitely will do that obviously and uh, that's pretty much it guys 225 here with a one to two second hold at the very top slow negatives and then six to ten reps on the hip thrusters nothing too fancy but that's pretty much it guys hope you all enjoyed the video hope you all enjoyed the commentary and stick with me on this whole entire contest prep it's going to be great not contest prep but you know just cleaning up my diet and stuff like that but that's pretty much it hope you all enjoy the video please give this video a thumbs up and like comment share and subscribe see you all next time good workout doesn't go complete without a good post-workout meal so amazing leg day play some basketball afterwards and now we have some pasta which is alfredo sauce with a whole like two tomatoes um about 10 ounces of shrimp and some bow tie pasta and i gotta pair that up with some green beans that i sprayed some butter on and that is the post-workout meal guys